So today we're in Pool in Dorset and I'm really excited to show you this outdoor kitchen that we have just completed. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how we built it and everything that we used in it. So when we first arrived here, this was pretty much a building site. None of this tiling was down here or anything else. Um, and this shelter certainly wasn't here. So, um, so the customers got this shelter. I think they bought this online or somewhere. So this is um, aluminium, I think, powder coated aluminium. It's got these louvres that open and shut. There's a handle over there so that you can, you can hook it on, open it and shut it so you get shade and you get the sunshine as well. They've also got these blinds as well, which you can pull those down. These will stop the wind. Um, they'll keep, again, uh, give you a bit of shade as well if you want it. Um, so that's really, really cool. They've actually put a heater up over there and you can see they've got their, their dining table all set up. It looks absolutely amazing. And even the rug on the floor there look. And, um, and these lights as well, uh, which I can't remember what these were called. Um, be something. Um, how do we edit that one? I'll do is I'll just I'll talk you through this kitchen now and how how we built this um, so this is a block work construction um, very similar to a lot of the kitchens that we do it's made using concrete blocks and then we've used a monocouche render on top of those um, for the worktops we've got a 30 mil thick black granite so this um, worktop the customer actually had inside their kitchen before. They had their kitchen redone. Um, so we had our granite people who are South Coast Stone, they came, they picked it all up and then they've recut the island, which was huge and created the worktops for this using that. So that's a really, really uh, sort of good recycling thing to do with the worktops. So on the side here, you can see, originally this was actually gonna be rendered this side here um, and the back was gonna be different, but what we've actually got here are these split face tiles. Now you may have seen these on some of our other kitchens. Uh, they're, like, they're like a Z shape, but they come in lots of different colors and they've got that sort of slaty effect, but they also have like a bit of a, a sparkle on them. So if you put, you know, in the light, you can see they've got a bit of a sparkle. So this um, section here has been done and that whole back section as well. And it just, um, it gives the kitchen a bit of a two-tone. It, it, it's not all render. It gives it a bit of contrast, which looks really, really good. Um, the corners you can see here that Vitas, he's mitered them all, so it all looks seamless and really, really, uh, really, really cool. Uh, so we've got honey here. <laughs> he's just come into the thing. So honey. Um, so over here, we've got the Beef Eater stainless steel double fridge. Uh, keep all your drinks and your food cool in there. Coming along to here, we've got our Monolith Classic Pro Series 2 Kamado oven. Um, I'm a huge fan of these. Um, I have done other videos. I've done unboxings of these and a review of it. Um, I'll leave a link up there if you want to go and uh, look at those. Um, if you're interested in getting one of these, it is worth watching them. Um, we've also done a lot of videos showing you how to cook on these as well. Um, so if you've just bought one and you want to learn how to use it, then head over there and have a look at those. Um, so this is a, a, a slow cooker, um, a, a pizza oven, it will sear steaks. It, it's so many different ways of cooking on it. It's a really, really versatile barbecue. And as usual, we normally, um, we lower it down onto a shelf so that the grill is at worktop height there. Um, underneath here, we just put a, <coughs> a tiny little alcove there so that they can put some logs in there and some firewood. Um, there isn't really anything, I suppose you could use logs in there, but it's more for the aesthetic and making it, it look really, really cool. Um, again, you've got the, the granite here. We did put a uh, quite a long 
bit of block work underneath there to support it because this is heavy. Uh, so coming over to here, we've got a grill called a Morso. Now, uh, this is the first time I've actually ever come across one of these. Uh, they're really popular. I'm not sure where they're from. They look Scandinavian, but I might be wrong. Um, but this is a gas grill. Um, so it's got a gas tank underneath here. So you can see we've got our stainless steel doors underneath here. Open those. You've got two tanks in there. We've actually got a hole with a vent at the back. Well, we've got a vent at the bottom in case there's any leaks, but at the top, we've got another hole that the regulator comes out of and goes into the more so there. It's really great that um, this kitchen has actually been dressed. You can see the customers have put all of their items, you know, plants and little knickknacks and things like that. It really makes it homely and it makes the kitchen. You, it's nice to see um, one of these kitchens when they're actually finished and they're lived in. Um, a lot of our videos that we've done, you know, we filmed them the day that we finished it and you, you can't really visualize what it's going to look like. But you look at this one with, you know, the shelter, the plants, the lavender, the lights, the plates and the table all set up. And in this setting as well, um, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. So. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope you like this kitchen. Um, smash the like button if you've enjoyed it. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've got Facebook and Instagram. Um, if you want to go over there and have a look at those, we try and post a couple of times a week on there. So thanks very much for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.